You're a professional. I'll figure it out. Hello, viewers. Welcome back to another episode of The Tech Handshake. I'm joined today by Pavel Potas... Potas... Potasinski. Potasinski. Yeah, it's, it's a hard name to pronounce. Thank it's, you. It's a Polish name. <laughs> Typical Polish name. Pavel, please tell us what you do and tell us about your career so far. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a long story to tell, but uh, let's start with who I am right now. So uh, I work at Microsoft for uh, an Azure data organization. That's a big part. L lots of hundreds of people working on things like Power BI, Fabric, Azure data services. But in general, I am a member of Fabric customer advisory team. So let's say a hundred of people working with the biggest customers of Microsoft to get the most meaningful feedback from for, for the product team to make our products better. That's my job, right? And where did your career start? Wow, it was, how about, far do you want to go it was about 25 years ago. Okay. So my first version of SQL Server, if you, if you ask me, was 7.0. Wow. Uh, I had an episode with 6.5, which I would rather want to for, forget. But, uh, but yeah, to, I, I'd say 7.0 and 2000 were the, the first ones that I really touched in production. So that was good. And, but uh, over time, I discovered that just just managing data and you know building uh, the data layer for application can be fun, but there is more fun in analytics. So after ten years, I switched to analytics. So my first ten years were, were in databases, like SQL Developer, Administrator. Then I moved to BI. So MDX cubes, SSIS, DTC. Sorry, the, the, so the, 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 uh, what, what was the the, the name of? of the SQL 2000 solution for that, DTSs, 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 yeah. DTSs and um, then uh, the whole projects run in, in Visual Studio. Um, yeah, we are fortunate to, to not have this anymore, but yeah. So that was my that was my next step. Then I joined Microsoft, surprisingly. Uh, so yeah. you, you've always been in technology and data? It was. It was data okay. and technology, yes. Good. So the, the next main question that I want to know is what advice would you give to the next generation of data professionals? Start with basics. The fact that you have all those SASs, passes, and things that get rid of complexity doesn't mean that you don't have to put effort in things in, in the baseline, which is uh, about understanding business business needs first, then understanding how to model data properly, how to make data pipelines, and I'm not referring to pipelines in, in technical nomenclature, but rather pipelines as we as we know them from diagrams and data engineering stuff, how they may impact the whole the whole uh, data processing and everything. And most of all, always have, on my, have in mind uh, that we do things for purpose. So the business goals are number one, uh, and you shouldn't you shouldn't put too much effort in technology without understanding what is to be achieved by the, pro by the project. So again, even having all those fabrics, power BIs and things, put your, put your, put your interest in uh, things like old good Kimball, SCDs are still on props, yeah. uh, star schemas and everything, that will, that will bring you benefit and, and make you a good data engineer, data analyst, whoever you want to be. So understand the theory, understand the concepts. Yes, relational databases and SQL yeah. are at the baseline. Yeah, awesome. Great advice. Thank you, Pavel. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on the Tech Handshake. Good to meet you, Paul. See you. Would you like to drop the microphone? Yeah, drop. Dro yeah, like gangster, drop it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>